Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John, and today I have a review by the band uh, Mastodon. The name of the album is Hushed and Grim. So, uh, this album was uh, released on October 29th, uh, 2021, through Reprise Records. Basically, a double album. It's close to 90 minutes long, and the album is a tribute to their former manager, Nick John, who uh, died of cancer in 2018. Now this band Mastodon has a sound, very unique, hard to describe. They don't really fit into any specific subgenre, but they do mix a lot of different styles. So they are like uh, progressive, sludge, stoner, doom, psychedelic, and alternative metal. The band uh, started out as a kind of like a heavy band. They started in the, in the year 2000, so they're not really, uh, you know, <clears throat> they're, you know they're, they're kind of more of a modern band. And uh, their sound evolved over time. You know, they have become like more progressive. Um, it's a very popular band. They've been nominated for Grammys uh, six times. Uh, they won once for Sultan's Curse. That's a song uh, in, uh, in uh, 2018. And um, in this band, we have Troy Sanders on vocals and bass, Brent Daler on drums and vocals, Brent Hines on lead guitar and vocals, and Bill Kyler on rhythm guitar. So three to four members uh, provide vocals on the albums, though the main vocalist is uh, Troy Sanders. Like I said, it's a long album, 15 songs with a runtime of 86 minutes, but I chose my favorite uh, like nine songs on the album. That's the ones I'm gonna go through. So let me just get started. First song is called uh, Pain With Anchor. Uh, first song, song on the album. Starts with like a drum roll. It kind of goes into this wall of sound and there's some clean singing in the beginning. Drumming really stands out in this song and um, it's not a very fast paced song. Uh, after the clean vocals, you do hear some like those sludgier vocals. Um, song then goes into like some psychedelic territory and then they release some like thrashy riffs just to close out the song. Next uh, song is called The Crux. Starts out with like a spooky atmospheric intro, goes into some heavy riffs. Troy Sanders uh, delivers the vocals in the first verse and the song has like a different time signature changes. It's really heavy, but at the same time progressive. After about like two and a half minutes, there's like a slow and atmospheric breakdown of the melodic lead guitar solo. After this, you hear some complex riffing and technical drumming. You can hear uh, Troy's vocals with some harsh vocals in the background in this part. So it's a really good song. Next one I want to talk about is Sickle and Peace. And this is the third single, a very different type of song. It starts with some female vocals in the intro, but it goes into a very like proggy guitar riff with uh, Troy doing the vocals. This one reminds me of those like later day Opeth albums. Afterwards, there are some very like heavy and thrashy riffs over some really psychedelic sounds. And there's a really melodic and psychedelic guitar solo, you know, about after like four minutes. Next one I want to talk about is called uh, Tear Drinker. It's the second single. The song has a slightly more commercial sound. It starts with like a melodic guitar solo. Sound reminds me a little of that um, 70s rock or maybe like the band Ghost. Band still adds their signature like heaviness to the song with like distorted guitar chords. There are a couple of cool solos to the song and as well as uh, some technical drumming throughout. Next I want to talk about Pushing the Tides. Very heavy song, starts out with a heavy and fast riff. Some start stop drumming. A lot going on with the song, some spooky guitar riffs, some frenetic drumming. The song mixes some progressive metal with alternative metal with a slight 90s grunge sound. Also the shortest song at 3 minutes 30 seconds. Next is uh, Peace and Tranquility. It's a cool song. Now the intro it reminds me of like technical thrash metal. Um, very heavy, very complex. The drumming is very technical. The song slows down, it goes into like psychedelic and prog territory with the first verse. The song also has some melodic parts as it progresses and the guitar riff kind of has like this like 90s alternative rock sound. Another song I want to talk about is a ballad called Had It All. It starts with some spacey atmospheric sounds. Troy sings in a deep and raspy style. You can hear some clean guitars in the background. The overall tone is very eerie. The chorus is melodic, has some distorted guitar chords. These create some textures along with the clean guitars. Next is uh, Eyes of Serpents, uh, the second to last song on the album. Starts with a slow atmospheric uh, intro and a mid-paced driving tempo. It's another melodic song like behind that wall of uh, sound with the guitars using echo effects. These create like these spooky uh, sound textures. 
Song goes into a heavy, a progressive rock territory towards the end of the song and has some galloping guitar riffs. Last song on the album was called Gigantium. It's very heavy, it's a psychedelic rock song, it has this like wall of sound guitars, some 90s alternative undertones. Not a very fast paced song, but the guitar chords create lots of melody. I really like the guitar solo in the song. Stands out amongst the others and the song does end with some orchestral sounds, some stringed instruments and some cello kind of to close out the album. So in conclusion, this is a band that I have listened to before. Mostly the albums like Leviathan and Emperor of Sand. Not a band I really go to often. I think I definitely need to like listen to this band more because I really like this album a lot. And I like it a lot better than Emperor of Sand. I think that one I think didn't really connect with me that much. And this album, it's a lot better, in my opinion. You know, maybe you disagree, but it's a long album. You know, the songs are good. It doesn't feel like a long album, like it doesn't feel like it drags. And there's not really any filler on the album. I think all the songs are pretty good songs. You know, all the songs have their signature style, you know, but at the same time, they have lots of different uh, variety on the album. Every song creates like this wall of sound with lots of different types of musical textures and they do a really good job of uh, mixing all of these like different musical genres into the songs. I give this album a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think in, of the album, if you have listened to it or the singles. And let me know in the comments section. Let's start a uh, conversation going. So that's all. Um, my next videos will be themed around Halloween and Day of the Dead. After that, I have a video talking about albums I missed in October. Now, most of these albums will be from like this weekend. There were like a lot of albums this weekend that I just definitely just couldn't get to them all. So I'm going to like put them all in one video. Limp Biscuits releasing an album on Halloween. I'll probably do a full review of that. Um, that one I'm not sure about because I, uh, I will admit I do kind of like some of the earlier stuff. And Black Sabbath Mob Rules will be celebrating an anniversary. So I will be doing a re review of that. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. Check out some of the other videos. I will have linked them over there. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.